going on, you guys? So, uh, <laughs> we're talking about sobriety, being clean and sober, and things to, uh, <clears throat> things to think about when you're, you know, you're in that fight, you know, to stay sober. And so my, my new sobriety date is July the 18th <clears throat> of this year. So on the, the 18th of this month, I'll have 60 days. July, August, yeah, 60 days. I had three and a half years and I, uh, I messed it up, you know thinking you know I could just have one beer here and there or and then it then it was two beers here and there and then eventually it was drunk <laughs> listen man you got to know what your triggers are you know um, a friend of mine get a perfect example you know I don't even know if I want to share that or not, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna. Anyway, a uh, friend of mine, uh, he's, you know, has a couple of weeks sobriety and uh, he uh, rode his motorcycle. And hey, I'm watching the video, you know, and it's showing him, he's driving up to the bar. <laughs> uh, you know, for me personally, the moment I rode up to the bar, it was done. I cracked that door open for the enemy to just have his way with me, you know? And let alone get off the bike and walk into the bar. And uh, yeah, and I could see if he was with a bunch of Christian bikers, that'd be different, you know, going in there and, and uh, you know, spreading the gospel or whatnot. But, uh, <coughs> Uh, I still smoke, you know, a lot of Christian motorcycle clubs or um, motorcycle ministries, they, they don't even allow you to smoke cigarettes, you know, and, and I, I, I know, I know the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and uh, I want to quit smoking, one thing at a time, <laughs> I did quit smoking for three years. And then I started back, just a bunch of underlying things, you know, excuses on my behalf of why, you know, and uh, death in the family and stuff like that. You know, we, we, we can let anything, and those are some of my triggers, you know. Uh, you have to recognize what the triggers are that trigger you to, to think that you could just have one drink or to think that you could just have a couple of beers or whatever. And, or, 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 you know, I mean, we could we could use any excuse to to drink and get drunk or to smoke pot or, I mean, we I mean we're good at coming up with excuses to do what we want to do, you know. Well, it's all right. You can do whatever you want to do. All you gotta do is go down there and confess your sins to the, you know, to the man, you know, <laughs> to the the priest, you know, or. No, man. This way of living, uh, being sober and having a relationship with Christ, and, and you know, we, we have to learn how to use the power thereof that God gives us. It's not easy, man. I have struggled. I have a predictive personality, and I have struggled and struggled and struggled and, uh, and struggled. And I've used every excuse in the book to drink or get high. And, and uh, I, I think a big part of it is knowing yourself and knowing what what uh, triggers you to, to think that you can, you know, without going overboard like we always do, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> I know I do. I, uh, I cannot drink one beer, man. And I can't trick myself into thinking, what? yeah, you'll be all right. You're strong enough. You can drink one beer tonight. You'll be all right. Yeah. 
But because I drank that one beer that night, I'll think that I can do it again. And then I'll think I can do it again. And I might drink one beer three, four, ten times. Eventually, that spirit, whatever it's called, the spirit of alcoholism, the spirit of drug addiction, the spirit of the enemy is what I want to call it. Because all spirits that are not of God are the spirits of the enemy. Satan. So, yeah, recognizing your triggers and and what causes and, and, and your weaknesses and, and, and uh, not letting... Right now I'm facing time again. Usually whenever I'm, I'm, I'm facing time, man, I just go wide open, man. I'm drinking and drugging and... I'm going to get my in, mine in before I go get locked up, you know? And, uh, no, I'm not, uh, uh Nope. I'm not going to let that happen. You know, I lost my, my three and a half years sobriety because I allowed the enemy. I cracked the door open and I allowed the enemy to push his way through. And, uh, here I am, you know, bearing down on 60 days. And, uh, but I, I know there's something different. Every, every, every time I go to get sober, man, something's different. And, and, and something's different. I, I, <clears throat> I know that I can't pick up one beer. Uh, whatever excuse there is. Uh, some, you know, someone, don't put yourself in a predicament of failure. Don't. Get around people that do it. Unless you're there, like you, like a friend of mine said, if you're there with other Christians, uh, bringing the gospel to people or or uh, or whatnot, you know, uh, you're there with other sober people <clears throat> that I help keep you strong and you're keeping them strong and yeah. Then it's, it, I, I, I can see that, you know, and, I, and I, yeah, maybe I, I yeah, I, I want something like that, you know, I want something like that. Uh, I don't have that. All I have is God, man. Uh, I, you know, I do have some Christian brothers down here in El Paso. Or at least I think they are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, um, I'm a peculiar person. <laughs> God's come for the peculiar people, but uh, I uh, I know that I can't drink one beer because eventually I'm gonna get drunk, and uh, I can't smoke pot, and I can't do a line, I can't. Uh, I'm just you know because eventually I'll be all all the way in, I'll be all the way down that hole I just climbed out of. Because, and I know what that hole looks like. It's not good, man. Not good. But I also know that God is my strength. So I, today I was sitting out here. Lord, just talk to me. You know, tell me what to do. Holy Spirit, lead me and guide me in everything that I do. Help me to, to see my next steps. Somebody on YouTube was trying to tell me that we don't know what God's thinking. Are you kidding me? Then you don't have the Holy Spirit. Then you don't have faith in the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus told us, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. And it's good that I go because then the comforter will come and you'll do greater and mightier things than I have done. Listen, man. <laughs> Jesus was always saying, I only do what the Father, what I see the Father do, and what I hear my Father say. So how is it, if you're a born-again Christian, that you're not asking God, talk to me, Father. You know, sh show me my next steps. Help me to see what I need to do. You know, Holy Spirit, lead me and guide me in all that I do. Give me the words to say before I say them. Help me to have discernment. What is discernment if it is not the thoughts of God? 
Tell me that. What is discernment if it's not the thoughts of God? Discernment only comes from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives discernment. And you're telling me that that's not the thoughts of God? Huh? I'm talking to you. Person that got all up in my stuff today. <laughs> About knowing what God's thinking. <laughs> One day, imagine this. Go read John chapter 17. One day, we will be completely one and in the same as they are one and in the same. Think that one over. Now, if God can do anything, and I mean anything, then you're telling me that he can't allow you to know what he's thinking? Hmm? Huh? Boy, you better be very careful with that one. Because there ain't anything that God can't do. God can do anything. <laughs> be blessed. Stay sober. Sober-minded. He calls us to be sober. That's what gets me about a lot of these people on YouTube that they 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 their their base their basis is Christianity. But then they're drinking on there. The Bible says not to do anything in front of your brother or your sister if it causes them to stumble. So what kind of, what are you representing? Are you, are you, re, are you representing the devil? Or are you representing Yeshua when you're drinking around people? Or drinking on camera, claiming to be a Christian? I don't care if you live by the Torah and keep all of the Torah and all the New Testament. What example are you setting? Hmm? Drinking. Oh, Tuesdays. What are they calling? Uh, 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 huh. Something Tuesdays. I don't want to. I know. I don't want to openly mention their channel, but I used to watch their channel, and I've even donated to to their, their cause for children and stuff like that because I, I do, I, I donate to St. Jude's. Uh, I, give, I, I give offering and tithing to St. Jude's at times, however God leads me to do it. And, uh, and because, you know, I, I like helping kids, especially kids with cancer and stuff like that, you know. I mean, but we can, the Bible even tells us we can do all these good things yeah, we're lost. <laughs> Remember when Jesus says, he says, or then people said, but didn't we cast out demons in your name? And didn't we baptize in your name? And Jesus said, yeah, but I never knew you. What was he talking about? Think about that. Yeah, but I never knew you. What example are you giving? Do you, do you get all drunk on the weekends or on Tuesdays or Thursdays or... And, and and put on a facade that you're this way, and then, boy, that would just smack me right in, right? Because I see you over here proclaiming this and being like this, and then all of a sudden, Tuesday, you're getting drunk. Man, man, that's not like somebody else I know that's even a little bit more close to home to me. Hmm. Come on, man, we're either all in or we ain't. God over everything. Jesus is king. Bye.